Hi, Sag- oh, sorry. Hi, Aries. <laughs> Are you doing well? Wow, that was a great start to the video, wasn't it? Hey, Sat. No, it's Aries. How are you, Aries? I hope you're all doing well and you're doing fine. We're going to do your love messages for the month of March uh, 2021. This is not going to be for singles. These are for people who are already in a relationship, okay? Or are dealing with someone, okay? Um, now, quick few messages. Comments are off because there's spam emails going across the comment section where people are giving out their WhatsApp numbers and uh, just basically trying to take uh, people's IDs and it's going around the tarot community and it happened to me, so comments are off. Also, um, I'm no longer doing personalised readings, Aries, so that is just something I've decided to do. All right, let's see what's going on for you guys. If I sound a little bit stuffed up, it's because... Stuffy, sorry. It's because I do have a little bit of a cold going on. Let's see what's going on for my Aries. Send me Rising and Venus for their love messages. All right, let's see what's going on for Aries. What messages do we have? Okay, so we have a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. All right, so we've got the glare, guys. Okay, let's see what other love messages we have for you guys. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. For March 2021, what love messages do you have for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Where are you going? Aries, 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 Aries. If you have an Aries placement anywhere, you're free to watch as well. What else do we have for Aries? Two more came in. I'm taking one back. Right, so we've got deception and making the effort. Calling in your soulmate also did come out, but I'll put that back in. So you do have deception and making the effort. Okay, so let's go straight in with your reading and then your person's. See how they're feeling, what they think about you, um, what is their current situation towards you, okay? So let's see what's going on for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For March 2021, for their love reading. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For March 2021, for their love reading. Right, let's see what we need to know for your past or your recent past. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Justice card, Libra Energy coming out. Let's see what we need to know for your current situation, Aries. Got the Hermit, Virgo Energy, and the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, also Jupiter. And the outcome for this relationship that you're in. That's too many. The outcome for the person that you're dealing with or you towards them, whatever the outcome is for you, Aries. Eight of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Okay. Let's go to the person in question. See what we need to know about them. Tell me about the person in question that Aries is potentially dealing with. Or their love reading for March 2021. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. Okay, let's see what's going on for their recent past. Let's see what we need to know for the recent past for Aries. Um, person they're dealing with, sorry, not Aries. <laughs> the person you're dealing with, wow. Okay, somebody's absent-minded, okay, definitely not me, <laughs> right, 
All right. Recent past for the person that Aries is dealing with. So we have the two of cups. Oh, gosh. Okay. Two of cups, the nine of swords. Mm, okay. Current situation. Page of Wands. That did fall out in the beginning. I don't know if you saw that. The King of Cups. And the overall outcome. Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Hmm. Okay, so the first thing that I'm kind of noticing here is that there is some kind of uh, withdrawal from this person. So you and this person are not talking to each other at the moment. I feel like you might be going through some changes right now, Aries, or, you know, just kind of focusing on yourself right now, making money. Um, maybe this is about... Um, you you know kind of focusing on your own needs right now money work career education um maintaining yourself perhaps you know you're going through some kind of internal changes as well within um especially with that hermit and the will of fortune being there as well but i feel like as you can see in the outcome there is a two of wands being there so you will be put at a crossroads but i feel like you're still holding on to um it's like you're holding on to something in regards to a decision that you need to make that's going to help you to plan for the future, okay? So it may be something that is, I feel like I want to say to you that it's like something to do with your work, um, or working on a relationship perhaps, or working on a marital situation for some of you guys with that justice card. I don't really pick up marriage here so much. But I really do feel like there is something here in regards to um, waiting, waiting to hear about work, waiting to hear from your person. I Honestly, I feel like for a lot of you guys, Aries, this is about yourself, really, working on yourself, um, kind of maintaining yourself. Okay, we're going to clarify. Let's see what's going on. Um, for the person in question... I feel like there's a, a, a sudden loss or um, discontent um, in regards to this relationship, which they really thought was a soulmate connection. And they really felt like this could work. I don't know what's happened here, but it just feels like with the Nine of Swords that there is some kind of, this person felt like trapped maybe, or this person was like really in their mind about how they expected things to go in this relationship, maybe. Again, I feel like this person was just very much in the illusion of how things should go. And it's almost like when they came to realise that was just the illusion, that's when it hit them with the Nine of Swords, right? I feel like they are upset, they're really down, sad about the, this connection. Page of Wands and the King of Cups are both looking in two different directions. So I feel like there is this... It might be you, but I feel like it is this person. This person is just literally looking at the situation with just a lot of loss but they still admire you to some extent so i feel like this person still likes you still admires you even though they may not be talking to you at this moment maybe they are not talking to you or meeting you or anything but they are watching you from a distance they still admire and they still luster over you if that makes any sense king of cups is pretty much just talking about how they have matured up when it came to their feelings and their emotions and how they're looking the other way in regards to it for the future so i feel like while you're working and working on yourself or working in just in general this person here is trying to manifest something big something long-term stable and with that eight of wands they're ready to take action on it where you're feeling a little bit kind of held back stuck right um so let's see what's going on here Let's start off with you, and then we'll get more details now from here. So tell me about the Six of Pentacles and the Justice. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles and the Justice, please, for Aries. we got the Six of Pentacles again, Four of Pentacles, Five of Eight of Wands. So I think that there was some kind of communication. There was some kind of uh, give and take in this relationship. Um... Some kind of action was taken towards this relationship. There was a little bit of a power struggle. I feel like that could have been the issue here, a bit of power struggle going on. But I feel like in the end, Aries, you've decided to hold back 
um, from investing in the connection or perhaps even giving into this connection. Let's see what we need to know about the Hermit and the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about the Hermit and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it definitely feels like that. It feels like there was a, um, a bit of a power struggle going on here, especially with this. Um, yeah, so it's almost like, okay, it's, it's almost like this is justice for you now, right? Maybe you gave a lot and... Maybe this person's illusions has caused the problem in this relationship. We'll get around to this person and see what happened. Tell me about the Hermit in the Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Pentacles, Strength card, Leo, and Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's been quite a few kind of like struggles, some kind of issues that have been going on where you've had to really pursue and be very strong about it. In the end, I think it was coming down to the fact that you were working on something stable and solid for yourself and your future um, with this hermit having ghosted this relationship. Perhaps you did not want married yet, not ready for it yet. Maybe when you offered it, this person turned the other way, which is what I'm getting from these two. Um, so there is something here. Take it how it resonates because I'm getting loads of different messages coming in. So it could be um, a multiple of energies coming through here with this reading. Time about the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Let's see what's going on here. So for the Eight of Wands, you've got the Ace of Eight of Pentacles. And for the Two of Wands, you've got the Ace of Wands, the Five of Swords and the Hangman. It's funny because when I was looking at the Two of Wands, I was thinking of the Ace of Wands. So, yeah, you are working on something new. You are working on something with a lot of passion. And at the moment, I feel like you're really, really, like, conflicted when it comes to which direction you're heading towards and you're at a standstill. Um, even if it's this relationship or starting a new relationship or wanting to be in a new relationship all over again with this person, again, I feel like you're just a little bit conflicted about where this relationship is going to go, how it's going to be. I feel like you're watching this person as well. I, I still feel like you both are like watching each other from far, but you're not approaching each other. Maybe, I've, I don't know why, but for some people, for some Aries, I'm getting that this is about an argument and maybe you just are worried about getting back together with this person and not wanting to have the arguments, the constant, you know, bickering with this person. Your energy is all over the place, Aries, and it is kind of confusing me. I'm not going to lie, but that's probably because of the energies or it could be picking up on the person's energies, right, with the illusions and the conflicted energy here that I'm getting from this reading. Maybe a lot has happened in this relationship um, all in one go. It's, it's possible, um, which is why this is happening. Tell me about the Two of Cups and the Nine of Swords for the person in question. Seven of Swords, Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups. So I feel like this person felt they got deceived or they've got stabbed in the back, which is why they've had to put up this barrier and resilience and block you from coming into their life in order for their own happiness. So they kind of worked on their own happiness here um, because they have everything that they wanted except for that one thing, which was the Ace of Cups, which they don't get from you. With that... Um, nine of wands being here it's almost like again they're watching you they are sad that this did not work out they are upset that this never worked out but they're still watching you with some hope that's what i feel like you were that was their last wish fulfillment with you if that makes sense tell me about the page of wands and the king of cups I feel like they're very conflicted. They're going in two different directions here. They admire you. They're looking for you. But they're also looking for love. That's very conflicting energy. The Tower, the Fool and the Queen of Cups. <laughs> wow. Mm, they still look at you as somebody who is the potential of being this King of Cups to them. Somebody who can still give them the Ace of Cups. 
I feel like with the tower they're going through some of these changes and these changes are pretty much um, like one of those sudden changes that is happening where they become more emotionally in control, compassionate um, and ready to start a new beginning. Now whether that be with you or whether that be with somebody else I don't know um, but I do see that they are really wanting to be with you. We do have the devil. That card was really trying to pop out. And the lovers. Mm -hmm. They could be... Um, they could be seeing you with the third party here. Or they could be with somebody else. Looking for the soulmate. Wow. Okay. I think they're done with this cycle though. To be honest. They really are done with this cycle. Um... They're definitely going through their own changes and moving on. Tower is Scorpio. The Fool is um, Aquarius. Let's see what this Ace of Pentacles and Eight of Wands. Ace of Pentacles and Eight of Wands is. My bad. Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Two of Wands. That jumped fast. I think that they have invested a lot in themselves, okay, to get to where they are now. Um, especially financially and spiritually free and happy. Funny they've got the two of wands because I do feel like they feel stuck in regards to how to communicate or take action towards you or in a situation as well. I feel like this is a really kind of energy where it's like a pull and push or a tug energy. It sounds like a karmic relationship for some of you all. I feel like this person's really worked on themselves to do this whole glow up, listening to the higher self, you know, all of that good stuff, because they do have the um, the world card at the bottom of the deck, and they also have the um, four swords, which means they've definitely healed a lot, um, they've come to a place where it's a lot peaceful for them, but with that two of ones being there, I feel like spirits telling me that they see you as somebody who is stuck, so it's like they know what you're going through, they can see what's happening, Maybe they see you not doing anything or not sure. But for them, it's kind of like, I can't stop for you. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Um, Yeah, I feel like you can't stop thinking about them and you're still thinking about making an offer to them. But they're already on their way. Yeah, see, King of Cups again. I feel like they have they may find somebody else during this time. They may find somebody else during this time. Okay, let's uh, go in and get some advice for you guys. And then we're going to wrap this up. What advice do we have for Aries, please? What advice do we have for Aries? What advice do we have for Aries? the six of pentacles well you got six of pentacles three times from three different decks you got nine pentacles come out twice one for them and one for your advice and the four of cups which is what i've said i saw in yours um okay so your advice is with the six of pentacles is um the four of cups I feel like Spirit's telling me that if you make this offer and you decide to have some kind of conversation with this person or try to start something up with this person, what is the worst that can come out of this, basically? So if you want to do that, then go ahead and do so. Um, but it's also saying that remember that this person, obviously, is now listening to their higher self and it's also asking you to do the same thing. Be single, be free, ready to mingle. <laughs> because this person clearly has. They moved on and they're free. I feel like this is also saying don't be discontent with this person moving on and forward because this could also say that you don't know what the future holds for you and you never know that if this is meant to be, then it may come back to you. Okay? So, Aries, um, that's all I have for you guys. I hope it resonated. Don't forget to smash like, share and subscribe. It really helps with the logarithm on YouTube. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys real soon.